Hello guys and welcome to another episode of our Royalist France playthrough here in Victoria 2 HPM. So, it's the last day of my Easter vacation, so I want to get in some last minute uh, gaming here before school takes over my life again. Uh, so yeah, we're now entering the late game as France. And now we are really just trying to figure out the best way to go about getting a Great War started. Not only a Great War though, a Great War that we can use as an opportunity to basically go crazy and just blow out the infamy limit and see how much of Europe we can mess up. Uh, we are in a pretty decent situation as of right now uh, because I did some googling around and the reason that we cannot ally multiple great powers as of right now is that in order for great wars to be invented we need to actually start a great war first or you know if someone else were to go ahead and start a great war so if uh, I don't know Ooh, we're allied to Japan I forgot about that but yeah regardless I mean if if some other power was able to start a great war, then uh, we wouldn't have to do it. But uh, it really does sort of look like we are one of the few nations with the real cap capabilities at this point to do it. Uh, but yeah, our position is okay, because we have a pretty sort of secured flank. Uh, if we can invade Germany, uh, we will not be invaded by the Spanish or Portuguese, even if they will ditch our alliances once we go over the infamy limit. Because they are in our sphere, they shouldn't be able to invade us. Uh, so basically the idea is we're going to be invading the North Germans and the British, getting the help of the Russians and the Italians, and then, you know, when we reach a point where we have sufficiently defeated them, we will then begin invasions of the Netherlands and the South German Confederation, and then start nomming up, you know, Kaiser Lauten and Belgium and stuff like that. Uh, like, the main big challenge I feel like to all of this well obviously it, it'll be very interesting to see if we can even pull this off uh, that is of course in, in no shape or form guaranteed but the real spooky thing is the United States because we have such expansive holdings in North America here uh, and basically no garrison to guard it and I don't really think I can spare any real troops to guard my holdings up here uh, so it will be really nasty to have to fight the Americans, especially if we have to do it at the same time as we fight all of Europe. Uh, so I'm really not certain how exactly we're going to pull that one off. Uh, the shame is, if the Americans start conquering our territories, like if they actually start adding war goals and shit, we don't have any cores up here, so we won't be able to take it back uh, later on. And I feel like it would be such a shame if all of our North Amer American holdings would just be lost because of... Uh, because of the stupid Americans. So I, I really don't know. Really do not know what to do with the Americans. I mean, obviously the sort of preferred thing would be to start a war against the Americans for something stupid before we go crazy in Europe um, so that we will have a truce with them and as a result have some time to prepare a second war against them. But even fighting just one war against the Americans would be really harsh and it would it would, you know, it would punish our nation quite harshly uh, when we need all the troops and morale and lack of war exhaustion we can get in order to successfully fight the Germans and the British. So, I think I might just have to try and wing it a bit, you know. Just do whatever, just try and go crazy in Europe and see if we can build up enough, build up enough strength there to beat down the Americans or potentially just, you know, give up a little bit of Canada we can, that we can potentially retake in the late game, I don't know that we will have to look into. Uh, I mean it is basically late game at this point but still. So yeah, I think for now we are just going to build up the last remaining regiments we can build up which is quite a numerous uh, gang of troops here. 24 guard units in Europe alone. So let's spam all of those and then we should spam a little bit of artillery and a couple of engineers, but other than that, we're just going to go crazy with the artillery. Because uh, we can mobilize a crazy amount of 556 uh, brigades. I mean, that's... Yeah, that's like one uh, 1.5 million people or even more. Yeah, no, that's like 1.6 million people right there, ready to die and fight for the King of France. I love it. Uh, so that is uh, something we will want to do. Of course, we do need good artillery units uh, to boost those armies up. Uh, yeah, no, th all these armies are we well, they're not balanced, but you know, they're not 100% awful. 
Uh, but we're gonna need, I, w I want like some pure artillery armies in the back lines that we can use to reinforce our mobilized forces when the time comes. So uh, that is something we'll have to work on. Also, we need to organize our navy. Like, where, where are our boats? Oh, there's an army down here. Um, well, yeah, I think we can afford to send some of these meme heads over to Europe, some of the artillery units, but other than that... I think we'll keep some troops in Africa, because if we can actually hold on to our uh, African holdings, that would be awesome. Especially these northern ones, like if I can keep hold of Nigeria, that would be great. Um, so if we can beat down the British oh, in these territories, that would be awesome. But you, we require quite a lot of troops to do just that, so it will be interesting. It'll also be very interesting to see hey, what happens in this little place. Uh, it hasn't turned into an actual crisis yet, but... If it does, it might even be smart of us to try and keep out of it, or... Yeah, because both of these nations are great powers, so if anything happened, they would be the ones to lead the Great War, which would obviously be rather annoying and negative for us. Let's see here. Uh, why do we have irregulars down here? That's silly. Let's, let's try not do that, and instead... Put some... Um, once again, put some artillery on the boats and then this army can go up to there and these guys can go to Europe to support the mobilized forces ah here we are we can now wrap up the colonization of Africa so let's create some protectorates all over the place let us turn Africa a bit more gray so there it is French Africa not as purely aesthetically pleasing as I, m I might have wanted it to be but who knows maybe maybe later on we can um, attempt to take some of these little tiny colonies that we were unable to get like Eritrea and um, whatever other places we failed to get um, Niger, sure, uh, Chad, Mali and Kenya reform the government and there we go very nice. So yeah, now we're getting our troops on the border here. So hopefully these guys will actually reinforce a bit though. We can afford to fund our army a bit more. So let's do that just to increase reinforcement. Alliance from Albania. Eh. Just on the off chance that it'll prevent us from getting other alliances. Let's not do that. Also, it really annoys me that Spain insists on wasting his entire army on... Um, sure. He insists on wasting his army in the fucking Netherlands when he could be, you know, saving his army to uh, fight Germany instead. Sounds like a much better, you know, way to spend your time. But who knows, maybe that's just me. Uh, is this the gathering point? No. This is, in fact, the gathering point. So that's... Well, yeah, let's take this army... I don't know, I just want to get them out of the way of that uh, mad, mad craziness that is going on over in... Um, over in Denmark, or Denmark, in uh, the Netherlands. Uh, another thing we could consider is to wait, uh, b wait until we have the ability to do gas attack before we go to war, but I'm not entirely sure what would be the smartest thing there. Maybe also even boost our... Ooh, I see Battle Fleet. Well, there you go. That's That, that, that solves the question of what to... Um, of what to... Uh, research. Oh, the Hungarians are rising up. Good for them, or bad actually, because that means that the Hungarian population will be reduced as they're getting killed off, so they, they're just opening more land for Italian colonization. So, not very smart of you, that. Spanish... Oh, okay, so that war is now over. So what did the Spanish lose, exactly? Uh, it's not super easy to see. Ah, okay, so the Dutch expanded their Indonesian holdings by adding a bit of the Philippines to it. It's bad for us, because we are we, we are the sphere overlord of Spain, but what are you going to do? If Spain decides to be stupid, then there is honestly not much we can do about it, so we're just going to have to endure. Oh wow, we all of a sudden got a bunch more units. Let us recruit, recruit that then. This probably will take a while. Hmm, so here we have the French Indochina event. But now that I think about it, maybe we should actually invade Vietnam. Um, 
for the simple reason that, like, there's no point in saving up infamy if we're going to break the infamy limit anyway, so we might as well spend our infamy on something fun before we go to war against Germany. I find that using this event is not a good thing though because it's you know it gives you the wrong type of castle spell you want the um, established protector castle spell so that you can um, take the whole thing but yeah no this this will not do so it's not in our interest but we might actually begin a fabrication on them unless someone is fearing them no no one is so we can safely get in here and establish a protectorate that's just five infamy though so maybe we should look into getting even more land before we go to war if there are any more random colonies we can wrap up. It would be nice to annex Korea. Although to be fair, the more of these random colonies I have all, have all over the place, the potentially harder it will get to actually successfully fight a coalition war. If that's what you even want to call it. But yeah, I think, I think we're going to try and wrap up Vietnam here. They're getting a bit close to... well actually no, they're not getting close to westernizing whatsoever, so... Let's not worry too much about that. Although this does mean we will need an actual army here. A bit more of an army than these two artillery pieces, so... Let us get our navy to work on that. Oh, fuck off, Japan! I saw it first! Vietnam is mine! No! We got busted for like three infamy, for those who wonder. Also, how come these meme heads are fabricating this shit so fast? Can I see what their modifiers are? Speed of generation is changed by 50%. See now, why do you get that when I don't? I have to re I have to sit around and rely on good old jingoism. And it's sad little inefficiencies. But yeah, we still have like a bunch of infamy to spend, so I, I need to come on. I need to be more creative here. I need to find something to annex or something. And I honestly am not entirely sure what that would be. Um. I'm really just thinking of uncivilized nations here. That would just give us a nice little manpower boost. Because anything would help before the Great War. Hopefully this little war declaration will not cancel our alliances in Europe. That would be a bit of a shame. Also, for those who wonder about the the name of the Nationalists Party, I did want to change it, and I did try, but I think in order to actually change it, you have to go into the localization files. And me barely knowing the difference between like localization files or whatever and regular files. Um, yeah, I, I once again, I really do not know how to mod and shit, so I just didn't know how exactly to change those. So sadly, we're stuck with the Droit Nationalist um, name for now. But it really just looks like such is life. And. Uh, there's not much we can do about it. Let's see here. Let's get these navies up here actually and just blockade these bitches. Because why not? I'll boost our uh, our war score decently. Okay, Japan wants to invade Korea. Uh, sure. Yeah, I don't see a good reason why not. Once again, we have sort of memed our way into having an ally here in Korea, so I want to make sure we keep that. Because it could be very useful in the upcoming Great War. And hopefully this will make the Japanese forget anything, any any other um, ambitions of ever getting Vietnam. We also have a Treaty of Hanoi here that we can against the Vietnamese, but honestly I don't feel like it. Because I know for a fact what we're going to get if we win this war, but I don't know, I am not sure what will happen when we uh, click that button. So let us, uh, let us forever not know what that would do. So I guess we can keep a bit of a garrison here. Um, Although, presumably, we will be able to build a bunch of troops now. Five, yeah. Well, just keep spamming artillery, I think. Would be the best course of action, because I think there, there'll be an event later on that'll let us, um... It'll let us annex Luang Prabang. So, we want an army here ready for that, but... Other than that, our operations here are now done. Unless we want to... Go complete meme and annex these guys, but... Mm. I don't want to fight China, and they're allied to China, so I don't think we're going to do that. So I don't fucking know what to do next, then. Guys, I have infamy to spend, and I need to spend it on something. Ah, damn it, we lost the alliance with Italy. That actually really sucks. Fuck. Well, maybe invading Vietnam was a... Well, 
was not a worthwhile investment then. Also, when can we do the um, inherit line pro bank? What do I have to do? Be at peace. Oh, okay. I just click a button. Well, Japan, if you wouldn't mind just not being in this war anymore. I mean, I guess we can try and speed things up a bit by sending an army over there, but ugh, I don't feel like that should be my responsibility. Oh, nah, I really don't know. Don't know who to invade or what to do. I don't know. Maybe we can invade. <laughs> we could invade Italy. That would be kind of fun. Could also be kind of useful because it would give us a truce with them. And we really only need Russia in order to trigger a great war, so... Maybe a um, maybe a successful invasion of Italy could be our could be a good way to do stuff, or maybe even better if we can wait a bit now and if the Italians could get themselves a convenient great power ally, then we could use that to try and quote unquote invent uh, great wars, uh, so that we can potentially ally the Americans before the war against Germany, because that is what I really want here. Or actually, now that I think about it, maybe we just ditch the idea of actually... Maybe we just ditch the idea of invading Italy. Because I am actually the war leader in this stupid war. Which means I can add a war goal to establish a protectorate. <laughs> and that is actually a cheaper war goal than it is to establish a puppet. So... If we do that... Yeah, we should be actually be able to completely meme the uh, Japanese here and force them to spend their precious manpower to help us conquer Korea. Sounds like a very great power thing to do. Alright then. Guess we're getting even more land. So, so much for starting wars and expanding in Europe. Looks like we're doing the exact opposite of that. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, what a meme. Alright then, annex the Kingdom of Joseon and just ditch whatever the Japanese wanted. Oh, why was that Japan? You wanted me to help you to puppet Korea? Sorry, I didn't listen, and now I just ended up taking the whole thing, so... Yeah, sorry about that, Japan, but, um... Let me just go ahead and create the Laotian uh, um, Protectorate. Yay. Now, what do I have to do to uh, do the border treaty? I need mass politics. Ugh. Ugh. Well, that's not happening anytime soon. So, yeah, but still, I mean, the, this is not a completely unesthetically pleasing colony. And it's sort of doomed to, to forever be kind of ugly, though, because of the, um, the fact that this is a... Well, not only is it in the Japanese sphere, but it's also a civilized nation. And look at that. The, uh, the Thai... Ooh, actually... Shouldn't the um, the Rata Sana something kingdom be able to to annex these guys now? Isn't the trigger to be just civilized? Or maybe they need some technology as well. But I thought the only thing they actually needed was to be civilized, so... Who actually knows? Anyways... Is that recruitment coming along nicely? Oh, Jesus Christ, now we can just get even more units! Well, we'll have the biggest army in the world, that's for sure. Well, maybe like Russia or something will have a bigger army than we do, but, you know. You know, that's not too much of a concern, to be honest. Let's see here. All of you guys can... Well, I guess that's an okay place to gather. Damn it, of course, that's why you allied me, you mean. No, I'm not going to fight America for this reason. Although... Whew, that is actually an opportunity to get a truce with America. Because obviously I wouldn't actually fight the war, I would just uh, immediately surrender. But that would count as a truce. That would count as a truce. I would lose a fuck ton of prestige, but honestly, who gives a shit? Um, just not in quite as strong as a position anymore because of Italy. Although I would almost prefer to fight Italy on the side instead of having to fight America. So maybe we do this. Sure. Let's try this one. And yeah, we are the leader. And immediately we're just going to surrender. So Cuba acquires Cuba. We will accept this offer. And now we have a truce with America. Good! So that worked out. Now then, 
we need to yeah, sorry about that Spain but you know you are my bitch and bitches are supposed to sort of do those kinds of things aren't they I mean we're still not quite done recruiting yet though that's the only real problem I find with all of this but now we do have some time before America comes breathing down our neck but this does really encourage going to war at like this very moment because it really doesn't look like Italy has any idea or has any plans of really um, allying anyone else that would allow us to trigger Great Wars a bit early and this crisis in Western Sahara is just not happening for some reason so meh I don't really know oh man we were so close to losing Greece to a little bit of a communist revolution there let us uh, try and avoid that, you know, for obvious reasons. Well, I guess our king has proved himself a person who honestly doesn't give a shit if people are communist or not. I mean, the Turks are commie, but uh, what matters if is if they are friendly towards us. And right now Greece is, and so we must uh, make sure that they are our friends. Speaking of friends, we should maybe even try and get uh, Sweden in on our little party here. Although we have a truce with them because of the whole Congo incident, so I guess that's not happening then. Oh well. Ooh, okay, so it looks like the the crisis in Western Sahara has finally boiled, boiled over. And the cost of not even caring is not actually that high. So I will uh, I will quote unquote be interested, but not not in an effort to actually I will I will refuse to join any war that this triggers. But what I will do is I might want to use this as an opportunity to let Europe begin fighting each other uh, while I sit on the sideline and attack whoever looks the weakest, you know? Russians are all getting in to support Italy here. So unless Britain... Yeah, they're strongly inclined to support Germany. And I will not support anyone. Even if I take a huge prestige hit, I will refuse. We have enough industry and military power to keep uh, keep us as a great power, so if we drop like a bunch of places, that's not actually that important. Because there's no real... well, there is a bit of a difference between being the number one great power and being number two. Uh, you gain more... you know, the market is more friendly to you, the more powerful you are, but... Other than that, I'm not too impressed. So yeah, this will be very interesting to see which way this goes. More liberals? I don't think so. Well, that did piss people off. Well, no, just liberal reforms. That I will not tolerate. Yeah, no, our armies are pretty ready to fight at this point, I dare say. I did not get as much artillery as I was hoping for. Well, I mean, we are building it. It's just that it's not really showing up. It's just sitting there, taking forever. Because, like, <laughs> we need so many resources here that, like, they, they are getting built. They're just not getting built nearly as quickly as I would have liked. So, but we do have the basics, you know, we do have armies on the borders with the British colonies. We have, uh, okay, so here's my actual artillery. So I guess some of it did get built. Uh, we should send a fleet down here to pick them up. The idea is quite simple. Uh, we're going to basically try and knock out the British colonies here and then, uh, you know, change the focuses of our armies to push down here into the south. And hopefully that way we can avoid any harsh negative war score. But we really are sort of running out of time though because of the... Yeah, there we are. The British are supporting the North Germans. This could be very interesting. I'm pretty sure that if I went ahead and backed Italy, the uh, the Germans should back down. But if I refuse, this uh, could turn into a very interesting situation here. Because, uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. This will be... Either very annoying. Ah, oh, never mind. They just gave up. Fuck you. Well, I guess I guess not everyone likes fun. Well, at least I got to keep my prestige. I mean, there's that, but I guess we'll have to revert to the the original plan then, which does involve actually sphering the little tiny Albanian state. So yay! I guess now we're sort of wrapping up our sphering party here in Europe. So yeah. Really, now we might just declare war immediately. Well, I well, yeah. Once those um, once those troops from Africa have shown up, 
then we could invade. Okay though, uh, I think I'm going to end this episode here though, and then in the next one, that is when we will begin the... I guess it wouldn't be the second Napoleonic Wars, because we are most definitely not filthy... Uh, you know... Fuck, there was, there was a political party that supported them. What were they called? The Bourbon... the Bourbon... nay? So I, I, I forget. I don't know, the guys who supported Napoleon. Point is, we are now the Bourbon Monarchy. So it will be the Bourbon Wars! That either sounds like a very good party or a glorious war to conquer Europe as France. Regardless, it will be a good time. So yeah, uh, we will do that unless something, you know, major happens or whatever you want to call it that makes me really change my mind um, on what would be the better thing to do here. Uh, because we are in a pretty darn good position at this point. Uh, I am really sad though that we lost our alliances with Italy and Japan. And Japan could also be a big problem. That's probably one of the... Mm, one of the nations that I'm most worried about, because Japan is really strong and they actually have cores on our co colony in Korea, uh, which could potentially be quite nasty. They failed to get this province though, I guess I didn't pay that much attention, but still, uh, you can see that it must have been Japanese at some point, because there is still a majority Japanese population there, but <laughs> the northern tip is actually U Ukrainian for some reason. Uh, but yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if the Japanese take over our colonies in the east, it would not be the end of the world. Uh, and I still find it very funny that we were able to snatch Korea right under the nose of the Japanese. And what I have seen, though, is that the Japanese do not have a very big navy. So we could potentially use that to our advantage and try and block them or something. Although that would require us, require us to not lose our navy to the British while we are getting over there. But our navy is most definitely stronger than they do. We have fucked ton of these nice little battleships here. Can we even... no, I don't think we can get um, Dreadnoughts yet. No, we need uh, steam turbine ships, with, which is not unlocked until 1900. And when 1900 rolls around, there's going to be a lot of technologies that we're really going to need. Probably going to spam military directionism immediately to try and guess that, get that gas, gas attack. And then we'll have to consider whether or not we're going to do uh, bolt action rifles or uh, anti-rationalism. I guess we'll have to look into that when the time actually comes. But yeah, so yeah, hopefully this plan of ours to invade Europe and conquer everything and really establish, you know, the, the glory of the Bourbon monarchy in Europe will be a success. Nothing can be guaranteed as always, but you know, we will do our best. So yeah, thanks so much for watching this episode and until next time, bye.